Welcome to episode number 55 of Turning $100 into $1 million, a series where I risk a whopping $100 of my money in an attempt for your entertainment to turn it into $1 million. In this episode, we do have to look at a dividend I received. I haven't received a dividend in quite some time. We also have to look at the Dow. Now, usually I like to cover a particular stock, even more particular, perhaps a penny stock that's been running up and people are hyping up. So I like to cover those. But in this episode, of course, of course, Today, as it's following Election Day, we just have to look at what happened and how the markets react. And we'll look at the Dow. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. I'll give you what my thoughts are, my opinion, just some early initial thoughts. We'll have some more election videos to come. Don't worry. In this episode, though, we do have to look at, of course, a update on my portfolio because of the market rally after the election. And so my net account value has shot up to a high that we haven't seen at a level in a very long time. We haven't seen my portfolio this high in quite some time. So we want to look at what's going on with my stocks. So let's go to AMC now. AMC still below, of course, my average price, but below the $3 level. It's now 230 is the average price that it was, but we'll look at the chart. And so right now we're at 960 down or 25.80% down. RF 454 up or 20.9% up. DGOI 32.78 down or 36.08 down. Viacom 1474 up or 96.97 up. OXLC 280 down or 7.03. Let's go to the dividend first. I want to take a look at that dividend I received. So this was it. It was from OXLC, the stock I'm holding, OXLC. And it was received on October 30th. But I just saw it today just saw it today so probably in between the last episode and today is when it came and the total amount was 54 cents 54 cents to add to this portfolio and it's not a massive portfolio so as a matter of fact 54 cents is of some substance it's not nothing when you are dealing with a small portfolio but anyway the dow let's look at now the dow was at one point it was up 750 points a certain part in the day and now it closed at 367.63 up or 1.34 percent following the election Quite a difference, stark difference, really, from the last month and last several weeks of just choppiness and you'd get some positive news and then it would be very, very dooming looking hopes. And so it's good looking now and I like to see a rally after the election. That's a good sign and it's also broke some records following elections. It was like record breaking. So what's going on? Well, a couple different things will be happening here. Number one, there was a lot of uncertainty with the election. So perhaps it's cleared some things up. Wall Street reacted, reacted positively to Biden's probable win. Of course, we don't know for an absolute fact yet, but it's leaning Biden. It does look like Biden's going to clinch it. And also it is positive on the fact that the Chamber of Congress, the Senate is still Republican, right? So the Republicans were able to remain and maintain GOP led and that will ultimately help in legislation because it will mean that the Democrats will not pass some very high end expensive liberal legislation that the Biden administration is looking to impose. So with the Congress divided, that means that Wall Street is reacting positively to that. And that's one sentiment there. Other sentiment is that the market would actually do better under Biden kind of unclear we don't know for an absolute fact yet why the senate or rather the market is reacting so positively overly positively to this news and amc amc right now we're down three cents it closed today kind of choppy today not much action here there was a little spike on tuesday but then it drifted lower after that we have rf rf stock down 90 cents today 6.41 percent down Little action after hours, but overall five days in one month it has been up. DGLY 35 cents down. Little action after hours. See, coming into November 2nd there, beginning of November, it was above three dollars. So it actually went above the three dollar level. I did not cover this as it wasn't time to do another episode on my schedule. But it did break above three, but it has come lower lower rather since Viacom down thirty-six cents today. Good, good, good uptrend in the last five days. Pretty choppy for the one month though, but overall still quite up on Viacom. OXLC up five cents, five days also looking good. Similar chart to last couple stocks we looked at. 
and also the one month looks similar as well. What does that translate to as far as net account value? Including, including that 54 cent dividend? Well, we're actually at a high of 180.36 now, 180.36. We haven't been in that level in a long time. We've been in the 160s, the 170s, but it broke above a 180 for the first time in some episodes. For you hardcore watchers of this series, maybe you could point to exactly which episode was the last time we saw numbers like that. Let me know down below in the comments. But I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, smash the like button. Also hit the subscribe button because I post videos now every single day. No exceptions, no excuses. And also hit the notification bell. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.